people are going to think you're going crazy. What's crazy about standing toe to toe saying, I am? If this is something that you got to do, then you do it. Fighters fight. To beat this guy, you need speed. You don't have it. And you've got calcium deposits on most of your joints. So sparring is out. I had that problem. So what we'll be calling on is blunt force trauma. Heavy duty punches that will rattle his ancestors. Yeah. Let's start building some hurting bombs. Yeah! Yeah! We playing, we playing, what's your what's up? Hockey, the press has labeled you a Balboa Soren. <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's a fight, it's a fight. Hey, what's up? Larry, why is this billed as an exhibition? So they wouldn't have to call it an execution. It takes guts climbing back in that ring knowing you're gonna take a beating. It's over. You tell them over until it's over. Where's that from? The 80s? That's probably in the 70s. This is my review for Rocky Balboa, released in 2006. Okay, um, this is going to be my first trying to unscripted uh, review. I usually script them, uh, just to save time because I've been so busy, I've decided to unscript this. I watched it again. This was from a request. I can't, I've, I do apologise, I can't recall who requested it now. And I'm trying to get to these requests. I do apologise for the lack of um, for me dealing with the requests. But oh, I will get to them, I promise, at some point. Don't know when. Um, but I'll put his name in the in the description. I it just it, it, it escapes my memory right now. But um, yes, yeah, so I sat down and I, I watched it. And instead of writing a full review, just to save time, I uh, wrote down notes. So I'm just kind of going to try and base this around my notes and see how it goes. So um, yeah, I, I remember when I saw this at the cinema. I remember really enjoying it, um, and I was surprised because I I don't think I think I'd even seen Rocky, but I I was quite young and I couldn't remember it. I hadn't seen it all. Um, I like Rocky, by the way, and I love the first film. Um, I, and I have you know that I actually haven't seen the other films. I've only seen Rocky One and Rocky Balboa. I was in the last, the first and the last. So, um, which a lot of people say are the best. So, you know, I'm not too fussed about seeing the others, to be fair, um, unless I can be convinced otherwise. Okay, so Rocky Balboa, the good. Um, I think the good about Rocky Balboa this film is that um, the character. Is good. Um, Rocky Balboa himself is a likable character. You, you know, as a screen presence, he's very um, engaging, and I think that helps the film quite a lot. I like some of its um, its misgivings that I'll get to later, and it's some um, stuff I didn't like so much. I think Rocky as a character was uh, an interesting character, and, and kind of helps the film along and pulls it out of um, being too bad. Um, the ending. The ending is very good. They don't go for the ending you think they might. They go for a kind of realistic ending, um, and I think that really helps the film. And it helps kind of a show of kind of growth, both of, of uh, Sylvester Stallone and people and the viewers. You know, they don't need to see what you know you might expect them to see. Um, it's still satisfying. Um, originally, I, I put down the other boxer was was a good point, but for some reason I, I misremembered this film. I thought that they represented the. The other box are quite well. I think there's probably one scene where they do, where they have him talking to his trainer. But apart from that, actually, he is just kind of stereotypical, you know, the one Rocky's facing, you know, Rocky's going to beat him, blah, 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 he's all bad, you know, Rocky's good, this guy's bad. Evil, you know, good and easy good and evil there, um, which I was a little disappointed with. I, for some reason, I thought he was a little more layered and a little bit more um, evened out and interesting uh, as a character than he actually was. But as I say, you know, he's he's not so good as a character. But Rocky is is the highlight here. Um, you have him kind of connecting with the friend's kid, which is a really interesting thing. Um, trying to connect with his son, um, and also just being generally out of touch. I think it's good, like the cheesy jokes that he does and all that kind of stuff, just showing that he's kind of out of date and not quite with it. Okay, the bad, um, the bad, the, the the most ridiculous thing in my opinion. Is the overuse of the music cue? Basically, they do music cue for bloody everything. Any chance they can get music cue um, in it, it's it's in there. And not only that, but it's just a sl <laughs> it's quite funny. So like they'll have a big drama, a big just emotional scene, and then they'll play like a, a slowed down version of the famous, you know, da -da -da, da -da -da, and they'll just slow it down like. Da -da -da. 
da, 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 like that. <laughs> like it's really sad, and it, it's good in one way, but it's really bad because it, it just made me laugh every time it came on. It came a lot, so I was laughing a lot. Um, but it's also quite good because it makes you appreciate the actual song when it comes on. It's like finally, when the proper version of the song comes on. Um, I think the film, kind of in filmmaking terms, and you know, and, and it's kind of grown. From, from its previous films in some aspects I think maybe the music cue thing isn't really growing that yeah, his son is very annoying um, he's a bit of a a-hole to be honest but in a sense I guess you know he, obviously he's meant to be so that works and um, it kind of helps you like Rocky's character more so you know because you feel sorry for him um, but also they kind of do a really cheesy switch with him where he suddenly becomes the nicest guy in the world and he's all you know standing by his father's side at the ring and I don't know maybe if they I know it's kind of contradictory because all I just said, but maybe if they kept him an asshole, I would have been even more kind of. Maybe it would have been a bit more authentic, maybe, um, and kind of pandered less to the to the audience and to the cliches that Rocky can usually so easily fall into. All in all, this is an entertaining film, um, let down by quite a few kind of old style cliches of, of narrative and filmmaking. Um, but much better than most attempts to bring back a franchise. Much better than his later attempt at Rambo. So, um, yeah, overall I would uh, recommend this film with a few, you know, reservations as I mentioned. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. <laughs> <laughs>